Hey, what's happening guys? Got a couple, well actually I only have one <laughs> interesting project for you today and I think you're going to like this. This is pretty cool. We're going to take an Uno and an LCD and we're going to create a digital picture frame. This project is super simple. Like I said, you only need two things here. The Uno and the LCD. So we pop these apart here. Now this is the LCD I'm using. It's from Elegoo. And if we look here, you can see it tells you exactly how to plug it in. I mean, you, you can't go wrong. It tells you where everything goes. And what's really nice about it is it has an SD card slot. And that is where we are going to store our pictures for the digital picture frame. So this really only goes together one way. You can't mess it up. Just make sure the pins are in the holes and click. You're pretty much good to go. Um, before we get into the meat of the project, I just want to thank everybody and take this opportunity to say, wow, I started this channel in November of last year because I like really needed another hobby. And uh, this morning I noticed I'm over 1600 subscribers. Fantastic. So thank each and every one of you. And uh, let me also take this uh, opportunity to answer a couple questions I've been asked. Um, I don't have Patreon and I'm not going to get it. I don't expect you guys to give me money for anything. I just do this, like I said, as a hobby. And yes, I make a little bit of money off the ads. It ain't much. It's, uh, right now it's less than $100 a month. But uh, no, there's not going to be any Patreon or anything like that. So that's all cool. However, if you're a multimillionaire and you know, you're feeling awful generous, if you go to the About on my channel main page, my Amazon wish list is there. You can buy me whatever you want. But I certainly don't expect that. <laughs> I'm just kidding, you guys. Uh, second question, what do I do for a living? Well, right now, I teach at a community college. Uh, I spent some time, six years, in the U.S. Navy back in the late 80s and early 90s. After that, I got my bachelor's degree in electrical engineering from the Jacob School of Engineering at the University of California at San Diego. And I worked for a little while in a civilian capacity in the Navy. Then I moved back home and I got my master's from the Swanson School of Engineering at the University of Pittsburgh, where I worked for the Bayer Corporation for a long time. And now I do this. So with that being said, on to the code. All right, let's take a look at the Arduino digital picture frame sketch. It's pretty simple. You're going to need Adafruit graphics and whatever driver you need for your particular TFT LCD. In my case, it's the Adafruit TFT LCD. You're going to need SD because we're reading from the SD card and you're going to need SPI because it's a spy bus item. Now these defines may be different for your particular uh, LCD, it all depends, but chances are they're the same. Then we're just going to define our colors, you know, like we're going to say black is equal to hex 0000. zero, zero, zero. Not particularly necessary in this sketch, but you know, it's there in case you want it. Then we're going to create an instance of the Adafruit TFT LCD called TFT using these arguments, which we just set right here. See how easy that is? We're going to define a max number of bitmaps as 10 and our file name length at a maximum of 20. Our pictures are going to have a maximum height of 320 and a width of 240, although we're rotating it so these are really rotated. Then we're going to have our bitmap offset at 0 
this is our number of files that we have on the disk. You're going to need to change that if you have more or less. All right, down here we have this character array with the file names. Now you're going to put your file names in here. Pretty simple. Now this is right out of the uh, Adafruit TFT LCD, this function here, this uh, bitmap draw function. So I'm not going to go over it, and you can just copy it out directly. It's all pretty simple. You don't have to do anything except paste that into your sketch. Now this here simply changes from little endian to big endian, which is needed. Again, this is all from the Adafruit stuff, so pretty simple. Now down here, this is our setup. We have serial begin 9600, and we do this little test. You know, um, you can skip all this once you know everything is working, so it's you know, no big deal. Then we have the SD card, and the chip select is on 10. So we say, if not, SD begin on pin 10, then initialization failed. Otherwise, we pass on. So we go through our main loop, and we open our file from the names of the files, which are here, stored in that character array. And if we can't find it, so if not bitmap file, we say didn't find image. And then we have bad bitmap, so if it can't find the correct header, you see here, it gives us a bad bitmap. Otherwise, calls that, draws the bitmap at these positions, closes the file, and delays. You can change the delay to be whatever you want. I know you can't see it, but I'm making hand gestures here. I don't know why. <laughs> All right, let me show you how to prepare the files. So the easiest way to uh, get your files prepared is to use Windows Paint. So here is a picture of my son holding one of our RC planes. Bonus points for you if you can identify the airplane. Then we click on Resize by pixels. In this case I'm going to turn off the aspect ratio. 240, 320. Okay. And then you just say file, save as. I'm going to drop it on the desktop and call it clean. And we want to save it as a 24-bit bitmap. That's all there is to it. And copy that onto your SD card. All right, so you've got the code uploaded. You have copied the pictures onto the SD drive. Right there. All that's left in that case is to power it up. Now it is really hard to see on the camera how good this actually looks. Oh, I must have shorted out some pins with my finger holding it on the bottom, it reset. Um, the yellow in that flower is bright yellow. I know it looks, at least on my screen, it looks kind of orangish. It's very bright. There is a tiger. And the colors, you know, they're perfect. We're looking at a 24-bit image. There's, there's no problem with colors. The only problems we have are actually like trying to see them on this screen. So this hillside is bright green, the tree is green, the sky is blue, and the clouds are white. And this one is a red rose. Oh, there we go. If I hold it at the right angle for you, you can actually see it better. So we'll try it like that. There we go. I just had to hold it at the right angle without 
shorting those pins off. So anyway, that's our project for today. A simple digital picture frame. You know, I'm powering it with an AC adapter. You can easily power it with a battery. Sit it on your desk. You know, that's a pretty cool conversation piece. Really easy to do. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, comment, and share. And thank you for subscribing and being a part of this channel.